of a coma, these elementary gestures are often centered upon the genitals, resulting in an erection to the male. Which, I don't know what that means, but I think it means that scientists are trying to make guys in a coma hard. That's kind of weird. Like, Whose I job is that? other priorities <laughs> as a scientist with somebody in a coma. Like, Do, do you know those, like, those like guided <laughs> meditations? <laughs> yes. Guided meditations, but for someone, like, when they're like, Yo, go, don't go to the light, come back to us, See, follow the sound of my voice. And they're like, all right, so she, she's, she's real thick. <laughs> <laughs> she got a fat ass. No, they have. That's a thing. Like they have like porn that's specifically auditory. Like, yes. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which like on a level, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Like, cause I'm a sound dude. Like, I like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I haven't really delved into that world. I'll be much. honest. I have once listened uh. to it. I didn't like yeah. finish, but I was like, but it was nice to explore. It, it was really lovely. If you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here. No, 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 no. But it was just it didn't. But it wasn't. It I wasn't figured. it for me. You're it acting like Bill Clinton. You're like, it's fine because I didn't finish. <laughs> I didn't inhale. I did not inhale the the audio around it. Yeah. yeah. But it is but it is cool though. Yeah. Yeah. That was true about Bill Clinton by the way when he was with Monica Lewinsky. He was like it's not considered cheating if I don't come. What? But then of course he did come that one time. <laughs> so yeah. That's so, a crazy that thing that to say when nice. you did come. Yeah. That's a crazy thing. I think it happened by mistake. <laughs> as it always does. As it always no. yeah. does. No one intends to come. No. <laughs> it just happens. Yeah. I've never come and thought that was what I wanted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Instant shame. You know what? As I get older, the shame is less, which is kind of nice. Lovely. That Wait, is pull nice. the mic closer to you. Just oh, sorry. a little closer. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Here's me it's looking me. for. Yeah. This is our first episode back in the new year. I know. Happy New Year. Welcome back to Two Welcome Nosy back Meerkats. Welcome back to hey. Nosy Meerkats, everyone. We're yeah. here. We are sensational, mm-hmm. and we're back with a lovely guest. A wonderful guest who each of us knows from different points of our lives. Yeah. I know from middle school, Gabby knows from high school, is a wonderful musician uh-huh. whose album I have listened to, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Please give a round of applause for your friend and mine, Ogi. Hey! Thanks for having me, guys. Oh my god, we're so happy to have you on. I'm going to move the camera just a little bit your way down. Yeah, it I'm needs to. We need to see right me. Now. Yeah, this couch. This is it. Like I'm, I'm rocking with this couch. That's a nice couch. Yeah. All of Lucas's furniture is so cozy, which makes sense because he's all bones. So he <laughs> needs pillows around. Oh my god, dude! I feel you. To make, I feel like you need like one of those bouncy houses, like in SpongeBob. <laughs> Wait, you, know, you know those exist outside of SpongeBob, right? <laughs> <laughs> I you, know, uh, you can get a bouncy house outside of the world of cartoons. You can jump in one even. <laughs> I you want to take your shoes off, but you can go in them. But the but the wall in SpongeBob where they put SpongeBob in like solitary confinement. Oh, like the the psych ward walls? Yes. That's like the advanced. I know what you're talking about though. Yeah. The like advanced. Yes. Um, yes. Oh my god, Lucas, you'd love the psych ward. <laughs> Oh my Dude. god! You you have a beautiful little jacket where you don't have to use your hands. <laughs> oh Honestly, my god! A part of me like no, I never want to end up there. But a part of me thinks like for like an hour or two that might be kind of nice. Like, yeah, well, get a group on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The walls don't hurt. <laughs> Usually walls are so painful, shit, yeah. but today <laughs> not so much. Shut Yo, up. let's get sponsored by the yeah, psych right? ward. Yeah. Psych ward. Dang. Well, we should be sponsored by the psych ward. Do they we, have you, there's there's one on like what's the, the is it Governor's Island or something? Isn't that like a thing? Sorry, yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Please don't worry. But they've yeah. gentrified Governor's Island a yeah. little. Now there's a spa. Next to the Psych Ward. <laughs> Next to the is psych- it in the Psych Ward? <laughs> yeah. It's in the, they gotta relax. Yeah. They gotta relax Damn. somehow. There's a spa. There's like a, a spa they host the little psych- festival. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a good name for a festival. Spa. The Psych Ward. The Psych Ward. Yeah. The psych ward. yeah. 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 Fire Fest who? Wow, TVT. Yeah, TVT. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, like, I know. I love seeing rich people like be fucked over. It's hilarious. It was <laughs> so fun. The cheese sandwiches. Yeah. Woo, baby. Oh, I didn't see the documentary. Yeah. I don't know anything about. Wait, fill me in. What happened? Um, this dude who's just like a scam dude was yeah. like, "I'm gonna make the best festival in the world. It's gonna be great," and like didn't have the means to actually do it, but was just really charismatic, and got all these fucking like influencers and shit to. Like, be on this island, they didn't have, like, food for, like, more than two days. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have proper living arrangements, and everybody was just there, like, Was this one with, be... like, igloo-like tents? They had, like, them, what is this called? Like, yeah, yurts? it was, like, FEMA tents. Yeah. <laughs> they also, they legitimately, like, they had kind of a festival going, and then it rained. Yeah. 
and they just, they didn't just prepare had for no anything. contingency plan for raid. Oh, and Ja Rule was involved. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but he didn't know ja it was a scam until later. Well, that's what he said. Well, yeah. well no uh, one did. I think that's the point of a scam. This is true. If anyone was like, it was like, oh yeah, no, I'm going. It's a scam, but like. <laughs> In the documentary, Ja Rule says something like, it wasn't a scam. Maybe it was false advertising. <laughs> yeah, it was a scam. Why is he de Why is he defending a scam? It'd be like that sometimes. I don't yeah. know. Maybe he was like, it was It was in his, his, his soul, his spirit. I don't I know. It's so. not Ja Rule. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been scammed? <laughs> yes, it sucks. Wait, what? It was off some bullshit, though. Like, I was, okay, I was in a very, like, sensitive place in life. I'd, like, just... How, when was this? This was, like... A year or so after college, I'd like just, I was dating somebody all of college and we were together for like four years and mm -hmm. we like broke up off some bullshit. Like she was like, we should see other people. I was like, why is there someone else? No, why would you say there was someone else? Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. And I was back home on the bus. I'm crying the whole way back on the bus and I get back at like 34th street and I'm usually like smart about this shit. Cause we're from New York. Like we know how to spot yeah, this shit, yeah. but yeah, I wasn't yeah, yeah. there. I was crying and shit. Right. So. <laughs> I'm walking down 34th Street and this guy's like, hey man, um, this was so obvious in hindsight, mm. but he's like, oh, I got scammed twice. I have another very embarrassing scam story oh, of no. a similar state of mind. Okay, okay, but, but the bus, yeah. Bro was like, oh, I need to get back home. Uh, I have this like, uh, what are those things called? It's not checks, but it's money orders. Yeah. He was like, I have this money order and like, I, I don't have enough to get on here. Can you just like, and I was like, you know what? You know, something bad happened to me today. Let me do something nice for somebody. I lost like four hundred dollars. This motherfucker took my shit, and I was like, you know what? You know, here, man. I hope you have a great day. And then oh, the shit no. just didn't. Yeah, and the bank was like, why did you do that? I was like, I don't know. I was sad. Like, fuck you guys. But then I saw Sleep No More later that night, and that was cool. So, <laughs> <It's good. coughs> sorry, I'm coughing because I have allergies. I don't have COVID. I promise. You. That's okay. <laughs> I um, wouldn't even care if you did. Yeah. <laughs> just, just a little, I was surprised to hear that you got scammed in person. Yeah. I was I thought we were gonna go in like I the got phone scammed scam. online too though. Oh, Wait, what wow. happened? The second one. This one is very stupid. Like I okay. was like, this was sometimes I'm very smart generally, but like sometimes I have my moments. So I wanted a PS5. <laughs> like real bad. And there was uh just like these things on Twitter or whatever. And I'm a really, really big fan of Leon Lahavis. Like, love her music, she's incredible. Someone who I thought was Leon the Hobbit oh, was like, no. I'm not stupid, I promise you. I keep hitting the mic, sorry. No, you're good, you're okay, uh, you're okay. But it was really embarrassing because it was like, all right, um, we we're giving away PS5s because, you know, you guys are like my fans and I like really, uh, what you call it? If you send this thing, we do like, like donate one to somebody and we give one to you or something. I'm oh, like, you know yes. what? That's nice. Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm in her DMs like, hey, I really love this one song and like I love how you play like E minor nine chords and that shit. <laughs> e and minor nine chords. Because yeah, she does it different. It's cool. <laughs> this motherfucker was There's like an Indian guy on the other you know, end. Exactly. Like, Googling, like, he was well, like, she's all right. <laughs> I remember his name. It was like Mickey C or some shit like that. If Mickey, if you're out there, fuck you. Fuck you, Mickey. Um, but yeah, it was like the second I clicked send, I was like, oh, no, <laughs> I like, yeah. felt it. And I kept being like, hey, like, what's going on here? And then like blocked. And I was like, ah, shit. And then later she came out oh, like wait. the next week and was like, hey, guys, somebody hacked my account. Like, no, I don't have PS4s to whatever or PS5s. And then I just kind of was very silent about it because that's very embarrassing. But, oh my you God. know, time has passed. I let my love of music get in the way of logic. That's true. I'm so and, sorry, dude. Yeah. Can I tell you that occasionally on, like, Facebook Marketplace, people, twice people have posted. And I've not gotten scammed, but I've gotten close. I've gotten uh. close. Where two times it's been a woman saying i bought this ps5 for my son he died and now i'm <laughs> trying to give this away for free he because died. i want this ps5 to go to a good home basically that's hilarious and then i message i'm like hey sorry to hear about your son <laughs> i'd love a ps5 however, though however. And, then she, and then she's like oh i just moved out of new york uh, I'm in Arizona now, but I can deliver it for you. Just like uh, <laughs> give pay, me your social security just number. <laughs> pay for the FedEx and it's like 50, 60 bucks. And I was like, can you give some proof that you have it and are about to send it? I was like, I'll say, how about I send you half of that? And then when I get it, I'll send you the other half. And she didn't respond. She said, oh, and, and then another time it was like um, this woman who was like, uh, I bought this PS5 for my boyfriend. He cheated on me. Fuck him. Now I'm going to sell this PS5 because fuck him. Yeah. And, no, not sell it, but give it away. And it's the same thing with the FedEx. I was like, 
No. They can craft I, I would give a local. I will pick it up locally. I'll do yeah. that. Give you the cash in person, Venmo, whatever. But like, and then she's like, no, nah, I'm sorry. I, I live out elsewhere. I'm like, we're back together. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he came back to life or whatever. Yeah. These are some great scammers. Yeah. They're very good. But no, but I have, because I've so, I've been scammed before mm. on the phone. Now, and now my senses are heightened. Yeah. I'm never letting that shit happen again. Fuck that. No way. <laughs> You're never trusting no. another human being. Uh, yeah. No, for real. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. It's weird out here. Do you know Jim Browning? No, I don't. No. All right, it's not his real name because he can't use his real name. This is Irish dude on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me get the tea. Like, going, oh, yeah. Going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the tea? We're going to have some teas. Huh? Yeah, Lucas got this fancy ass, like, just good tea. And yeah, I'm it smells like it. a peppermint patty. I'm a Lucas big tea always guy. has the herbs. I'm not talking <laughs> like you, euphemistically <laughs> that herb. He's always got, like, ube in here. Yeah. He's fermenting kimchi. This is a man with Just hobbies. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I some, love that. Yeah. People are like, "That's gay." I'm like, "Is it gay to have hobbies?" Yeah, right. <laughs> be, yeah, it'd be gay as hell if you have hobbies. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so that's such a funny concept to me, like things being gay and things I know. Being shit. It's <laughs> like just do shit. Like it's gone so far to the point where it was like. Uh, there was a photo of like ASAP Rocky and Rihanna and he was wearing like a like a shirt I was gonna say a blouse but not quite I guess. <laughs> he was wearing like kind of a uh, or it was that she was walking ahead of him and someone was like oh ASAP Rocky is letting his girl walk ahead of him or something and then someone quote tweeted it fellas is it gay to fuck Rihanna <laughs> Yeah, because, like, people really drag it. I'm like, yo, like, what? The, just, what? You know, either you are or you're not, or there's a spectrum of it, obviously. But, like, you want, like, a little sugar in it or no? Sugar, yes. For how many? One or two? Two. two. <laughs> yes. I'll have it uh, normal. normal. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> not this fucking weirdo yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, not that gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> not that sugary stuff. Do you remember the, um, like, the, like... That Hillary Duff campaign when there was yes yes Yo. that's so gay I'm obsessed with that Hillary she Duff ate campaign. that whole cut like that that commercial was great because she really was just like wow guys that's not cool I'm gonna go back to shopping <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they like sat with you and I was like you know what yeah I had the biggest crush on Hillary Duff growing up interesting yeah I'm not even that's like not my type normally yeah but she's there's something about her that's a little different what do you think it is I don't know she's like yeah. I mean like Lizzie McGuire was a dope show she. Yes. She just look good too. That's like yeah, what it she is. Did, too. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's this thing where in society, like white women try a lot to look like black women or other women. And I'm yes. like, she's a white woman who looks like a white woman. And I'm like, that, I respect that. That's really interesting. Yeah. Do you feel that way about Taylor Swift? She's just her. Nah, she's, she's, she's her just own, doing yeah, whatever. Nah, she's very much looks like a white woman, but I'm like, not like. Because she's yeah. definitely not trying to look like a black nah. woman. <laughs> and if she is, it's not working. But she's, not, yeah, she's definitely not trying that. <laughs> if she if she isn't, she should try. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Shout out black women. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Taylor Swift is just, she's like Midwest vibes. I don't know anything really about her life like that. But. Yeah. me. I, I recently like uh, mm. my new roommate is into is into taylor swift is a swifty a swifty vibes so i'm like learning a lot about taylor swift i think she's a good lyricist but mm. i don't really fuck heavy with her i'm afraid to dive into her music because i can appreciate anything if it's good like yeah. no matter how i feel about the individual if you write good stuff you could I'm, I'm sure she has stuff that i'll be like oh this is phenomenal like that one song style yeah, uh, take the mug on the right that's closest to you huh. Okay. One of them oh, has poison writer, in them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> One has a mystery. <laughs> well, if this is how I go out. Thank you, my dear. Drinking yeah. tea and podcasting. Love I've that. led a I've led exactly the life I thought I would. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It's herbal Ooh, shit. Peppermint patty is so herbaceous. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like afraid that I'll find something that I won't be able to be like, oh she's whack. Like I'll be like, yeah. oh, I'm not speaking of oh, yeah. at all. Can I tell that reminded me of I I don't remember who said this, but it was like it was someone praising Farrah Fawcett in the seventies just for owning the fact that she was white and not trying to appropriate anything. <laughs> yeah. Like her hair was so bad. They were like, She looks like a white woman. Yeah. As they should. Like yeah. dude this yeah, look how you look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think my style is pretty white, but the ass <laughs> like, the ass, I don't know. Kicked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love like all of the What if I was like same? <laughs> Lucas, your Lucas ass. I mean with all the booty content, like it would be like it would be if you got a BBL, like it would make sense or something. Yeah. That'd be crazy. I need something. I need to pad something. <laughs> 
you got a BBL, I would lose my that would be Oh fast. my god, that'd be crazy. That would be so funny. You should make it like symmetrical with your head. <laughs> Symmetrical. Cheeks. So you're, so you're kind of looking like a Q-tip. <laughs> no, like if you squint your eyes, I'll look like anal beads. It's just like, <laughs> peel, peel, peel. Shout out anal beads. Shout out yeah. to anal beads. Shout out to anal beads. Sponsored by anal beads. Up. Sponsored. <laughs> Beat it up. It's a bad. It's a bad. <laughs> Yo, I love jingles. Like, I want to write mm. jingles for shit like that. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. What well, would your yeah. anal bead jingle be? I don't know. I got to think. It would be like. It would be like uh, like percussive sounds like plop 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 <laughs> anal beads or yeah. something like that. Yo, hire me. Yes. Hire me. That's good. It would be simple like that. Just something like anal beads or something like that. It makes me want to give you other products. Like yeah. Microwave. Microwave. Um. It would start with like a hum. It would be like wait. It would be <laughs> yes. yes. And then we would like start harmonizing. Like, <laughs> Your food is done <laughs> in the microwave. <laughs> And then it's done. Yeah. Fire. Nice. Do you remember? All right. Jingles are a big part of my life just yeah. because like sometimes I do this thing. I do this when Please I'm talking like, about the optimum triple play commercial. <laughs> yes, definitely one of them. But this is a, of that. Okay, okay. 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 I'll play like I go on YouTube and search uh, like compilations of early 2000s commercials, like yes. three hours compilations. Because great. Era. I think about these things like they've been in the background of our lives for so much as it's nice to kind of be reminded. I do that when I'm like coming down from mushrooms or if I'm just like at home alone or like, which is always, I live by myself, but, um, or just if I'm really baked, I'll just be sitting there like, Oh yeah. Campbell's or like optimum triple play. Cause that shit went hard. Yeah. It, did. it was so good. Or like so good. The Fox. That's one of the first commercials I remember. Like I think back at the first music I ever heard and like, it's Teddy Pendergrass, Phil Collins. And like, um, that song, did you ever know that you're my hero? <laughs> Bangers. <laughs> the like, now that's what I call music. Exactly. Like, yeah. yes. But the first commercial jingle I remember is, do you know Foxwoods? No. Fox so. Casino? Yeah. yeah, Casino. Yeah. That shit was so good. I I want, I'm yeah. like seriously thinking about trying to sample it. Don't sue me if you, yeah. Because like, <laughs> I don't have that type of money yet, but... It was just like this big band, like, make a chance, make it happen, da 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 You should Spin totally sample that. It's a banger. And I'm like, they had good jingles. I feel like we don't have commercials the same way. Like, we have it, but it's like... Yeah. yeah. They're great they're not long, and annoying. Yeah. They're not long enough to get a good jingle in exactly. anymore. Also, you know what we have too much of is commercials that are meaningful. I hate that Wait, shit. Talk your shit. Okay. What? <laughs> I used to work in a commercial production company. Oh, and lit. when I Brag. tell you this, every single treatment for a commercial, it could be like a car. It could be anything. It could be like what we want to show is real people, mm. real lives, real families, real hearts. And that's why we at McDonald's are here today. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, that's real. That's very real. It is so, and the way people will like thirst over a commercial and be like, yeah, this commercial for auto insurance made me cry. Fuck there, that shit. Yeah. Occasionally, me, though, a good commercial will make you cry. It, no. It has, no, Fuck it does. That. It's still selling product. Give me, if you're going to sell product, be silly with it. Give me Grand Prospect Hotel. Oh. Remember that Indian we made your, oh. yo, we I, made I have a picture with that come. man. I can pull wait, it up right what? now. You wait, wait. I'm gonna grab you have a picture? Wait, what'd you do? He's dead now. Oh. <laughs> Rest no. in peace. What? My dad, I, I used to talk with my dad about how much we love that. The Grand Prospect. You make your dreams come true. true. Yeah, they're Greek. Um, they're Greek guys. Yeah. Uh, Wait, so what did you say they were? Indian. Yeah, no, they were <laughs> Greek, dude. Okay, well you're now I don't feel as bad bro, about like, doing the accent. Put like, it in post. <laughs> <laughs> His oh. wife was there too. Is that right? That's Rhino. I saw Rhino hair on the street like two days ago. He was on a second date. And I was like, this is fucking lit. They were high as shit. I smelled the fucking shit off of them. I loved it. I was also high. Wait, but, wait who is this man? Why the hair went to middle school with us? Oh, sorry. Wait, isn't he Fallon's cousin? Yes, he's Fallon's yeah, cousin. You know Fallon Bowles? I know Fallon Bowles. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's her cousin. They're like cousins by like marriage or some shit. I don't mm. know exactly. But yeah, so the... Wait, hold on. Let me explain. I remember, wait, they were playing... Uh, we did Grease in oh, yeah. in uh, eighth grade, and they were love interests. <laughs> and they didn't. I don't think they like kiss or anything, but they were like holding hands. And this dude Jules was to just oh, yell. Jules Skrill. Yeah, yeah Jules Skrill. Wow, forgot about that motherfucker. Dude, I ran into. Okay, we're getting on so many <laughs> tangents. Let me just finish this one thing and get on another. Yes. No, but Jules from the back of the room while they're like holding hands just yelled, "Cousins, <laughs> incest." 
Shout no, out. but Jules, I ran into when I was walking out of my show in, at the Edinburgh Festival two years ago. Oh, he's still with his girlfriend from middle from school. Middle school? Whoa. Damn. I don't even remember her name, but I know I her face. I, yeah. She loves Kiss. Damn. We're doxing a lot of people right now. Ah. <laughs> Let him cook. No, but th yeah, they're still they're still going. Yeah, that's kind of beautiful. I love that. It is, yeah. I love yeah. that. It's crazy to think that they're like our age, but like well over like fifteen years into a relationship. <laughs> Fuck. I remember uh, at, at my temple, we always did something called the Purim Spiel, which was a play we put on for the holiday of Purim. Mm -hmm. And uh, one time we did Beauty and the Beast, mm -hmm. like nice. a parody. And uh, this girl Jordan was Beauty, and her twin brother Aaron was the Beast. <laughs> Good lord, why did they do that? I don't That's know. weird as shit. I think it was because Aaron was like the one boy. You know when oh, there's like one boy in yeah, middle school who yeah. can do everything? But like still that's weird. That's your sis that's your not only your sister, but your twin. Is your weird. twin, yeah. yeah. And they had to do like a dance together while my sister, of all people, sang that song that was like "Tail yeah, as old as yeah. time." Oh, I'm familiar. Uh, my boy was your sister <laughs> just like gagging, just like yes. Yeah, she hate it uh. was uh, when I tell you it was uncomfortable for every single person in the room. I need to know who made the choice saying these two people are going to be these roles. It was, who was the crack it was the choir teacher? director. <laughs> It's always some crackhead the what, teacher. What is the choir director's name, address, social security? <laughs> Give me. F she's actually wonderful. This was a crazy. No, she's decision. not. Yeah, that's that's no, she she's not. Is. I'll Incest? say she's not. <laughs> she's, a, she's a disability advocate in community theater and in like regular like acting. Her name is Anita Hollander. She has one leg. Oh, turn up. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel now, Lucas? You piece of well, shit. She's still like oh, fucking siblings. She can do a little incest as a treat. <laughs> she, has, she doesn't have one leg. Damn. She can do I, I was about to say something real mean. I was about to say something real mean. I That's not. Oh, no, no, yeah, me too. I'm holding back. <laughs> I'm holding back. Ooh. Sometimes the punch just happen. You don't really have control over it. I know you know this, Lucas. <laughs> like, it just happens. That no. was another thing I was going to say about, like, the guy yelling cousins. I feel like you, you guys relate to this. So much of New York, growing up in New York, mm. is just people yelling stuff at you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's kind of endearing, though, sometimes. And yeah. You know, you learn to love it. Because if not yelling at you with their aroma. Yeah. <laughs> Because you meet so many people now who are so, <laughs> they're so conflict avoided, right? Yeah. You meet people from the Midwest or whatever and they and you talk to them and they're like being polite and then I'm sure to their friends they're like talking shit. You don't get that in New York. Nah. In New York people are like, I remember the big thing was uh, in my year people would just yell, uh, tight. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Utah, yo. Utah. You and then you would be so upset because they're like, no, I'm not mad. And then you'd be tight no, because it's actually. No, I'm not tight. This shit's crazy. And that's the thing with New York, too. We, our slang is so unique. Yes. And so, yeah. like. It's brick out. Yeah, it's, it's wild brick outside. Like, what? <laughs> Why does that mean it's cold? But it at makes what sense. Point, at what point did clay become a temperature? I know. Shit, I was sometime in the 80s, probably. They yeah. were like, you know what? Because I feel like brick feels like it started in the 80s, but I wasn't yeah. there, so I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. Started at Stonewall. <laughs> They threw the brick and the person, like, got, the brick. Brick. The person <laughs> got the brick thrown and them was like, this is so cold. <laughs> what's your, all right, what's your favorite like New York City slang? Like uh, you can top three if you have trouble. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, let me think about this. Mm. I want to think, think about too. this. Um, I love dead ass because it dead just ass. says dead ass is so versatile. Yeah. yeah. It's been fucking appropriated now and people are singing it wrong. But I know. Yeah. yeah people are really yeah. saying it wrong. My, <laughs> my sister used it to yell at someone the other day. It was, she went, uh, and she's very like, um. Like white. kind of formal, yeah, very white. <laughs> She's like, I mean, obviously we're the same ethnic background, but I think, <laughs> but I think she might be even whiter than me. And Wait, can she, you can you describe the intricacies? Of, oh, no. my sister is like, um, oh, of what? My ethnicity? You don't my have ethnic to. story. Don't actually, my rich ethnic story. Don't don't don't. Okay, I'm Jewish no. South African. Yes, okay. If thank you, you all must know, but she she uh, yells at this guy about something, and she goes, "It doesn't matter, man. It dead ass doesn't matter." <laughs> That's using it correctly, though. That's using that's it. Not, yeah, that's all right. No, she was using it correctly. But mm. the thing is, is that that word being used correctly and with anger is like so effective. Yeah. Wait, you can I, really scare the shit out of someone. I have a question. Yeah. Is calling uh, someone who works at a store boss a New York thing? Is I that, think so. Boss and chief. Yeah. Chief is other places, no, but, boss. but boss is New York. But like boss they go, hey, boss, what do you want? Or yeah. thank you, boss. Like, yeah. like it, that. Yeah. I haven't seen that elsewhere. Yeah, no, I think that's a New York thing. 
Well, yeah. like Ock is New York too, but like oh, Aki, yeah, yeah. Ock feels like, it's funny because Ock sounds like it should be offensive, but it's a hundred percent not. <laughs> yeah, like it, it's true. just like apparently it's just like brother or something, but yeah. like oh. yeah, yo, that, that, yo, that's Ock or like whatever, which is <laughs> hilariously because it sounds like it should be a slur and it's not. And yeah. I love yeah, things yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds like slurs, but aren't slurs. Yeah, because they're fun. And tra- okay, for New York oh, slang, yeah. that is the that is the best. Uh, my my favorite has to be your your oh yeah I, it's just Our formal greeting yeah it's just <laughs> I it, say your so much it's you can't say it frowning no <laughs> that's so real <laughs> yeah your <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's a good nah, like. Yeah, is a good one. Yeah. yeah if any like, of our listeners have depression, try saying you're yeah. with a frown. You'll it's, laugh. It's it's like a, that Zach Galifianakis joke. He's like, uh, here's a. He like tries to be serious about something. He's like, I'd like a uh, a sandwich with a uh, ham, cheese, lettuce, and a bag of Skittles. <laughs> Because you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, Skittles. In a, Skittles. Skittles. <laughs> Shout out Skittles. I fucking love Skittles. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sour Dude, Skittles delicious. may be my favorite candy. Ooh, like a non-chocolate candy, I think it's my favorite. They hurt. Sour yeah. Skittles. They, remember the Sour Skittles from the early 2000s? That oh, my God. Yeah. They would, your mouth? Oh, the roof of your mouth was like... Raw. Oh, it was, it was yeah. ground zero. It was Back awful. The <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. It felt Shout the out. way it looks. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, I don't even feel like the God food. damn it. Hold on. I love it's the that police. Lucas still has a land. It's the police, it's the police. calling his landline. <laughs> We're calling to reach you about your credit score. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let's talk to Spectrum. It's outdated and needs to be replaced. Press one and talk to a Spectrum associate. Okay. If you have replaced the equipment, <laughs> oh, I, feel I love this. I love it. <laughs> Yes, I just was Derek. How are you? Derek, I'm terrible. Are you going to marry me? <laughs> Derek said, I'm not getting paid enough for this shit. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Derek said, I make $2 an right? hour. I'm leaving Damn. this call. I try okay. to sell them stuff. Yeah. Do it back at them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, 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 I called you. Yeah. I like the, the questions thing. Like, just keep asking weirdly more specific questions about what they're asking and pretend you don't understand. Just driving people insane. Because yeah. fuck you. Why do you have my number? We should. I, I want to call him back and be like, uh, actually, are you okay? Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't ask the first yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm so rude. I'm so rude. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, but no, but more new. Like, what? Buggin is one of my Buggin favorite. Is like, Buggin is great. Or like, that's crazy or like, that's wild or some shit. That, that doesn't feel exclusive to New York. It doesn't, yeah. but we use it the best. We use it the best. Yes, yeah. I agree. But do you Bugging think that? But, is definitely. The bugging is, but yeah. uh, is, but is like that's crazy. That's why. Do you think that just because we use it that the best that makes it ours? And I don't it, think it does. Mm, but who started it though? I, said, I, we, I feel well, like it's definitely an East Coast thing. Yes, but I don't know if yeah. it's exclusively New York. Um, shit. What else? There are a lot of them. There is a lot, like, yeah. Wavy is kind of yes, that's yeah, New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think um, it's used as much. No, nah, it was like not yeah, anymore. It was, like it was back in the day. I still say it, yeah, but it's not. Yeah, that well, used a little bit in like elementary school. I remember. Yeah, wavy was. You like, were getting oh. wavy in elementary school. Yeah, one yeah, kid was. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> a kid was getting wavy. No, 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 no. I'll be real. He's he's dead now. Oh, uh, so and it was and it was put on his tombstone. <laughs> wavy. Wait, that's like, kind of stay fire. wavy. And then it was. I won't say his name. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I wish I knew. Got too wavy. No, Got yeah. Too wavy. He was waving it up. He, he was really, he was really sweet kid. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's too bad. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Sorry Sounds to bring down the mood. Yeah. Um, Pour one out for. Whoa. Yeah. Bro, like, I'm sad about that dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> yo, dead ass. Yo, no, not for nothing. That's a good one. Not for nah, nothing. Bro, yo, not for nothing. Wait, but yeah. like. <laughs> What does not for what? nothing mean? I don't okay. know. And also, it's like in sincerity. Like I'm being sincere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but when I played uh, uh, on a women's softball league last summer, Woo! profound. I know. <laughs> I'm basically Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> there was this woman B I met. He stands for ball. <laughs> for ball. <laughs> yeah, Susan ball. Ball. <laughs> Ballin is another good yeah. one. Ballin is a good slang. That's Jim Jones. Yeah. <laughs> we flat high. Ballin. There's so this woman. Susan Ballin. I met this woman. <laughs> Wait, what was the name of that woman on American Idol? Susan Boyle. Susan Boyle. Yeah. <laughs> Susan Boyle Anthony. She looked like. She looked like what's her name from fucking uh, Home Alone too. Like they were like twins. Oh yes, yeah, you're right. They looked like you're each right. other. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Brenda, Pigeon Lady. I know the actress Brenda Fricker. Fricker. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She was freaked up. That's yeah. 
Brenda oh Brick. Oh my god. Damn. Brenda Brick. Shout bricked out. up. That's another bricked one. Up. Bricked up. That means like hard though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> bricked up. With I the used homies. to think bricked up meant like uh, closed off to intimacy. <laughs> like, that that oh, is I'm a good. That's that a good, good way to describe right that. Yeah. You, can't, you can't get past my walls. Yeah. yeah. There was a there was something going on on Twitter where like these guys were about to go out with like the homies and they put like some like viagra-esque thing in their punch so like oh we're gonna go out and have a good time i'm like that's weird that is weird sitting around drinking spiked viagra punch with your homies and all the comments were like oh me bricked up with the homies and that's hilarious because what and it's these same dudes being like i'm not gay and it's like that fine if you are but like that <laughs> okay you said drink viagra with the homies is like kind of like wild to, in preparation for going out too like that's also, you're in also, your 20s. Why are you, what, you going out with a boner? Why are you going? That doesn't sound fun. That's crazy. That sounds very Do you know what I am thinking of? Is that Viagra is actually something that helps you if you're about to do like a, a big, uh, like if you're climbing Mount Everest, if, you have a, if you're going to a high altitude, it's actually good for you to take Wait, Viagra. What? It like does something with your blood flow and your ability to like take in oxygen or something with Damn. your Who oxygenating you in the blood. Uh, I watched Big it. Pharma? No. Big Pharma? <laughs> it was in an episode of Top Gear. Oh, shout out Top Gear. That's oh. that car one, right? With yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to watch that so much. Not yeah. anymore, though. Do you think that's how Bear Grylls does it, then? Nah, it's just vibes with him. No, no, no. He, no, he just... He's nah, naturally He's hard. like, no, 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 no. You got to drink an otter's piss. <laughs> no. I what happened to him? him. He he's had, still around. He had that um Netflix shit where, like, yeah. the game on your TV where it's oh, like... Oh, shit. I'm going to go in the woods over here. Uh, Should I go that way or that way? You go that way. He's like, I found a bear and I died. And then they restart the episode and some shit. Oh, like, choose your own adventure, but like it's... Like what they wow. did with Black Mirror and yes, the Bandersnatch. Yes, yeah. just him. <laughs> My favorite tweet about that was someone being like, so how's this work on one, two, three movies? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think about how much that's so funny. Filtered access to the Internet we had growing up. Like, oh, my no. God. Even so, more now, though, for the so yes. many illegal movies. I oh, loved it. I I would spend days. just. Let's on... get sponsored by Putt Locker. <laughs> Whoa, I forgot about that place. Yeah. I was there a lot. I was oh, I yeah. was in the Putt Locker, there, dare I say. I was locked in. In the Chokey. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Put Locker. the Chokey. Not I watched joke. Matilda recently on like on Christmas. I would just put it on as like yeah. background shit, but I was then I was watching. Phenomenal movie. It's so good. You know what's a weird crush for me? Miss Trunchbull. I know. Yeah, that, that's kind of weird. She's kind of <laughs> scary. Your teeth are doing yeah, crazy. Yeah, no, shit. I, I. Is it couldn't. the power? Yes. I get it. I get yeah. that. You like to be overpowered by a, a a powerful woman. You know, she doesn't even have to be powerful. She doesn't even have to look like that, but she has to throw me around. I get that. Uh, yeah. you, you, no. uh, when you when you when that girl with like the the braids was like <laughs> yeah. getting tossed out the window, you were like, "Oh, that's the goal." I, I was like, "Wish that were me." What, <laughs> what is this feeling in my body? <laughs> oh, yeah, my remember God. that? Age? Was watching. I was like, wow. that age of like, oh, things are happening. I'm not sure what they are yet, but wait, mm. what what stimulated that for you? Oh shit, fuck! I gotta look back. I don't, I was always been kind of horny. Like, yeah, that's me just too. Been yeah. the vibe, but I remember vividly like. It was certain like cartoons like mm -hmm. Atlantis. Why they make Kita mm -hmm. so fine? <laughs> I was sitting there like, that's cool. She's floating, but also I like that. I don't know why. <laughs> it was her. It was strangely enough, Roxanne from fucking Goofy movie. Because they made them fine. It. Like they yes, they're fine, dogs, yeah. but oh, they no, made them absolutely. High. Yeah, they, they were made a dump them truck very, for yeah. reasons. Yeah, and she was like, I don't know. It was her. It was definitely what's it called? Uh. Rota El Dorado, the uh, Rota. Oh, oh her. yes, yes. Oh my God. And then yeah. the one Sephora from like Prince of Egypt, like Moses' wife. Yes. yes. They made her fine as hell. They did. And I was like, like they know what they're doing. Oh yeah. Eight, like <laughs> fuck. Let's part the seas. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Man, not knowing yet, but I was definitely like about it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm. It's it's weird that a lot of those are animated. Uh, but. It is, but it also isn't. Yeah, because that's but what was around. It's, it's what it's what you have available to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. The, oh, the craziest one. Uh, I I not for me, but for Eddie Redmayne. Nala. I get that. I get. I, I get, get it. Nala. Yeah. She had like bedroom eyes, which is weird because she's a lion. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't. I couldn't do that. Nah, I couldn't I wasn't make that like, jump. Oh yeah, Nala. But I get it. No, but, yeah. I get. I no, really I do couldn't get do it. it. No. 
Kovu was kind of like I'm not like into dudes, but I was like into Kovu. Yeah, I feel like, that. Like, yeah, he's good he eyebrows. Kind of high. Yeah, like Scar's kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah super yeah. hot. I'm like, he had a good look to it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sexually attracted to men, but I do like I can appreciate someone who's beautiful for sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Somebody's just like you appreciate yeah, how they look. Like, absolutely, oh, you're fine. Yeah. Like fucking what's his name? Uh, Lenny Kravitz. That man is hot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, there is a, a male model who you will look at and you're just like. Fuck, I could just spend a while looking at yeah, you. His name is Tony bit. Thornburg. That he sounds like a name. Lit- no, if you that- Google him, you could be like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't know this was allowed. If you, <laughs> you Google him, good. you're like, oh, he's so hot. Wow. Wait, wait, put the- it is unreal how insanely beautiful it's this man is. It's because like, he's a guy, but he kind of looks like it's like Mulan bone structure. Oh, no, he's gorgeous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's but, so like, handsome. This is this is insane to me. Yeah, that's he's insane. Got, he's got, he kind of looks like if Keanu Reeves bones. was like yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got like the cheekbones. He's got gray facial hair. His hair oh, is amazing. He's just everything about him <laughs> is just dialed perfectly. Yeah, it's incredible. Keanu Reeves is a hot man. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And like in his spirit too. Like, oh yeah. I, yeah. Hot he's spirit. a kind soul. Yeah. He just like. He has that whole like damaged like my life has been hard, but I like am a good person in spite of it. Yeah, which I think is like, ugh. yeah, love that shit. But he's also just cool. Like he does cool shit. Yeah, he's been like, in two SpongeBob movies. Killed it both times. And too. he's turned down a bunch of the superhero movies, but he's, he's like, I don't want to do that. SpongeBob. But like, if it's for the kids, like yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Someone like said like, oh, he only had like ninety five words in a John Wick movie. It's like. Yeah, he does a lot of other stuff yeah, though. He was I watched John Wick 4 for the first time because I had a free oh. trial with stars. And <laughs> <laughs> sponsored by stars. Sponsored by stars. I know for real. If anybody wants to sponsor well, sponsored me, sponsored by like, Put Locker. Put, <laughs> then stars. And then stars. The you stars. have no idea how much I would love to be sponsored by Put Locker. That would be great. Are they still around? I don't think so. What if we became a Put Locker exclusive? That would be you know, kind of like, oh, yeah, fuck Patreon. Rogan Rogan is a Spotify exclusive. Put Locker exclusive. <laughs> A pull locker exclusive. We could talk about it. We uh, come on. Okay, hey, no. shout out. But stars but and not, you were, what were you watching? I was again? watching John Wick Four, and that movie was great. Yeah, like I was. What is it about? I've never seen any of the John Wicks. So the the first movie, it's there are four movies, right? Yeah, it's all pretty much the I've same. I've seen the movie. third. I haven't seen the fourth yet. Fourth one's fun. Okay. It's not really spoilers. It's about really. his wife, right? His sort wife. of. So yeah. his wife, bit, yeah. he's this like ex spy. Mm-hmm. He's man. really he's good. A hit hitman. Man. Yeah, hit not man. spy. Yeah. Sorry. He's real good at his job, but he doesn't necessarily like doing it, but he's really good at it. Mm-hmm. He left that life. He doesn't do it anymore. Now he's like, uh, I like dogs and I'm really sweet and I like take care yeah. of my little things. But his wife is dead, right? His dog is like the close. He got the dog to like heal that wound, right? No, no. His Didn't his wife get him the dog like just before yes, he died? that's what it was. Just before she died. And then she was like, oh, remember me through this dog. Please take care of this dog. Yes. It's like somebody. Do-. And he's like, oh, fuck. Okay. And he like. Then he does And then go on, go on, go on. And then uh, he gets like. He's at the gas station with this, like, he has his cool car. And it's fucking bro from... Uh, Theon Greyjoy, yeah. Theon Greyjoy. What's his name? Ralphie, Alfie, Alfie. Alfie Allen. Alfie Allen. Yes, him. Okay, I'm shout in. Out, shout out Alfie. Shout um, out Alfie. I'm invested. Sponsored by Alfie. Sponsored, Sponsored by, by Alfie, Alfie. Alfie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, these guys are like, oh, nice car. And he's like, thanks, uh, I love cars. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, we're thanks, about to rob the school, I right? So, <laughs> yeah. I love I, cars and dogs. Yeah. And I'm, a sweet guy, I'm a sweet guy. So, they pull up to his crib and, like, steal his shit and kill his dog in the process. And he's like, we're not doing that. And all of the hitman shit comes back. And he's like, I'm going to find you. Because he knows they're like mobsters or some shit. Yeah. And he just spends the entire movie just fucking everybody up. Like, guns full. Like, you know he does all of this shit because he's Keanu. But, like, the movie is him finding these people. And then there's this whole, like, hitman organization at this hotel and shit. And it, all of the rest of the movies are just kind of missions based off of that or, like, old beef he used to have with somebody and that he's like duh i don't want to do this anymore i hate killing and then and it's great yeah um does he get a new dog nah um oh, wait, he, yes he does wait when yeah, at the end of the first movie. Oh yeah I've, i haven't seen the first one in a while but oh yeah no but he like liberates a dog yes. he I, liberates oh, he a dog liberates he liberates a dog like, from a dog pound and it's really and that's yeah. nice. yeah no you're right i do remember that now yeah but this is seen in the most recent one where it's not recent as in like it came out like I just it's recent to me recent to you yeah uh, where I love like like down the street like traffic circles I think they're really funny because like why do we have them <laughs> I know it's just like yeah I think it's great I love them but uh he's the arc the arch of oh, the arc 
um, the Arch in France, the, the Arc de Triomphe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bros drifting like Mario Kart drifting around the whole thing and like happen motherfuckers just. Brrr. It's the coolest scene in the world. And he's I like love it. switching vehicles and switching gun. I like love those movies because they don't try to be anything that they're not. They're yes. just like yeah. It is it is the perfectly orchestrated shoot 'em up. Yeah. It's it's so oh. well done. I just watched the first Fast and Furious for the first time. Where are they like? I 18 haven't seen now? it. There it yeah, there's so many, but the first one is really <laughs> fun because it's like there's not quite a plot yet. I guess that's not true in any of them, but it's like it's like a first season of a show. They're finding yeah. their footing. They're finding their. It's like these early two thousands hot people who you never really see around anymore. Like, like uh, Ludacris and like obviously Vin Paul Diesel. Walker has passed away, and then um, Jordana Brewster is so hot in it. I don't know. That I don't know that is. She was like this early two thousands heartthrob, and she just like I think she dated Derek Jeter for a while. And uh, right? yeah, yeah. There I don't go. know sports like that, so I have to check. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the oh yeah, she's she's um, I think she like used to be a lot. Yeah, this is she was kind of like a bad bitch. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a headshot. Yes, the yeah. early two thousands were really about eyebrows. Yeah, in a yeah. Way that I, miss. I fuck yeah. with eyebrows. It's like one yeah, of my yeah. favorite like areas of hair. I feel like so you have cool <laughs> eyebrows. Thank you. Of course, my sisters yeah. always get like mad at me. The window shades of the soul. You know what? That's beautiful. That's on a t-shirt or something. <laughs> the window shades of the soul. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my sister's always like, because I have long eyelashes too. So they're mm -hmm. always like, you don't have to do anything to your stuff. And I'm like, eh. But <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, and it's fine. I don't know. Yeah, I like eyebrows. They're fun. They're expensive. Yeah. Eyebrows are fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. The slang, not for nothing. I like it because when I was on the softball team, there was this woman. She was a bus driver from the Bronx. And she was really intense and really funny. And she found out that I liked women somehow. I don't remember how. But uh, every time I'd come up to bat, she'd go, all right, big strapper. <laughs> Let's go. Which is so, sounds so sounds like a, That sounds like a kind of fish. Yeah, big, we got big strappers <laughs> we got today. big strapper here. And then one time she showed me a photo of a girl on her, on her phone. And all she said was, not for nothing. <laughs> That's nice. She said, hey. <laughs> You hey. need a little setup. I got you. Shout out people trying to set you up who just met you. And I'm like, you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> How long oh, no, does I that like happen that. to you? Uh, Catherine not tried recently. to set me up. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. She, uh, 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 Catherine is another comedian and uh, Gabby's roommate. Mm. And she once tried to set me up with a friend of hers. And I tried actually to. I was like, all right, let's meet yeah. up. And then she was like, I'm very sorry. I'm very busy. I got a lot going on. I can't meet up. And I was like, all right. Yeah. 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 Uh, it happens. It used to happen a little bit. But like. It's never really sincere, but, like, I'm a music teacher for, like, babies and stuff. So, it's really fun. I'm basically fucking Mr. Rogers at work. It's dope. Uh, I teach classes from, like, four-year-olds and younger uh, and teaching them just to appreciate music from a young age. But it's for the families and parents, too. But, like, yeah. a whole bunch of babysitters, a whole bunch of, like, old Caribbean women, like, oh, how old are you? Like, my daughter's this age and stuff, mm -hmm. too. I'm like, ha, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> like, show me a picture. But... <laughs> Nah, but wait. Have you have you have you said show me a picture? Have you said nah, that? Nah, but sometimes they'll be like, oh, or like a daughter will come into class, and I'm like, oh, it's cool. But like, not nah, that was like earlier. Now I'm like, yeah. But um, what's it called? I had a thought. Where is it? Ooh ooh ooh. It's gonna come back to me. In oh, a teaching mm. music. Yes. Yeah, no, but before, like at the bar, I used to work at this bar. At come on everybody, shout out, come on everybody. Oh yeah, love it there. Um, but I was a bar back, so you're around drunk people all the time. But they would just be like. My friend would think you're so cute. Like, you'd like, ah. Uh. And I'd be like, that's cool. Like, yeah. But the conversation would just disappear after that because they were blackout. So, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. But it depends. I don't know. I have friends who set me up with people. That usually, like, works out. Mm, like, okay. yeah. Um. So, yeah. Which is cool. Because, like, they know you. Yeah. yeah, I think it's I, different when somebody knows. I you. love the idea of being a matchmaker. Yeah, I love that so much. Mm -hmm. That hits like a very active part of my brain. You where I'm would like, be okay. such a good yenta. Oh, oh. you would be so yenta? good at being like the fiddler on the roof woman. I <laughs> like, would, I would love that job so much. <laughs> I would love to be a matchmaker. Because, be yeah, it's like these are two spirits that I know might like get along. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I tend to be a matchmaker without letting people know that I'm doing that. Like, it's for my own personal thing. I'm like, oh, you guys would like each other. But I don't say anything because I want it to be genuine. But I'm just like, oh, we just also happen to be in this place together. I'm going to go over there mm. and then see if it happens. And I'm like, yeah, you're welcome. That's you didn't even smart. know. 
I find that it's hard though matchmaking because I find that what someone needs is often not what they want. Mm. Oh, like yeah. off top, I can already think of two people who I think would be perfect together, but it's because they're both extremely unself aware, mm. and because they're unself aware, they think they. I'm sure they would think the other one be like, "Oh, I can't believe they're like that." <laughs> yeah. But then it's like you're like you're that. like that. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Wait, if you were setting up, not that you had to have someone in mind, but if you were setting up someone with Ogi, what person would you imagine? Just like in the abstract. Ellen what are DeGeneres. the qualities? Shout I'm out. Sorry? <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. Hello, Ellen, where you at? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> is she, what is she doing now? Like, everybody like, hates her now. <laughs> <laughs> where is she? Where is she? I don't know. She really disappeared. Like, she was the shit forever. And then she saw JK Rowling was like, no. <laughs> she said, I'm out of here. She's like, I kind of want her to come back and like be mean. Yeah. So you know, do like, I. Because like her yeah. whole thing She's was like she was the nice Porsche. lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Welcome to the show. Hey, everybody. <laughs> There's this kid on TikTok. Yo, yeah. No, nah, it was crazy. Uh, yelling at, <laughs> yelling at Portia, like, like, that's the show. This is why you're my dumb bitch wife. <laughs> anyway, today oh we're God. dancing. <laughs> Damn. Shout out. Remember Lil B? No, of course I do. Lil B, the bass guy. I remember you, the bass oh, guy. Yeah, he had a song called Ellen DeGeneres. He yeah. just used to have songs named after people for no reason, and his shit was just like Ellen DeGeneres, <laughs> you so generous, and just like crazy. He was oh, a we're... weird guy. No, no, that was <gasps> Bill Clinton. He had a, a line. Um, Bill Clinton, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I'm Bill Clinton. Fucking all these. I'm women. in the pocket because you know I got lint and uh. That's bars. Mm. <laughs> bars. But yeah, he mm. would just have, and his ad libs would just be like people's names. He yeah. had that song Wonton Soup. Yeah, wait like, like Wonton Soup. Then, then I, I fuck, fuck your bitch. bitch. Swear like Wonton Soup. soup. <laughs> <laughs> or my favorite, um, what was it? Is ASAP? I'll be down with the Mac. Like a lesbian, nigga, I'd be down with the strap. <laughs> Which is, yeah. fuck, that's bars. That is bars. That so is good. bars. <laughs> that's beautiful. But so out of pocket at the same time. Or there was a Lil Wayne or any of y'all into girls like I am, let's be honest. <laughs> He started that? I think he started Let's Be Honest, which a later. lot of people ended up... He started that? I'm I mean, sure I'm not surprised. Wow. That wow. A <laughs> he should yeah. get royalties. <laughs> he should get royalties I mean, every time someone From every it. tweet. Yeah. Yeah. There's a video. Um, He's on some interview, and he has like his little like styrofoam cup of lean at the side. I'll send it to you after. Okay, okay, okay. And the lady's talking, and she's like, oh, your new song that you're doing is something. And he's like, yeah. And he knocks it over, and he goes... Oh my god! <laughs> it's the funniest <laughs> shit in the world. I'll send it to you because it's so funny. I definitely have it saved on my phone somewhere. Wait. But it's so genuine and so just because he knocks it up, he goes, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and his legs are hanging because he's little, <laughs> and I love that for him. Yeah. Wait, one of my favorite interview moments is someone talking to Jack Harlow, and like he's not giving them for I, I, something in the interview goes wrong, and they're like pause, and he goes resume. <laughs> Resume. <laughs> That's Rizzo. funny as shit. <laughs> Jack Harlow is a weird guy. I like him. Yeah. He is. I like. I like him. Yeah. I didn't think I would like him, but I like him. Yeah. yeah. He's There's not a... someone you look at and you think, I hope I like him. You yeah. don't get that, but but he's yeah he's, he's a sweetheart genuine, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know the guy, but like he's, he looks cool. <laughs> Jack yeah, Harlow sponsor us. I feel yeah, like shout out. there was that trend in like 2013. I think like Lil B and all a lot of these rappers. It was like absurdism. Yeah, absurd I love that. I so love much absurdism. of the weird shit that we. It's like Lil B paved the way for a lot of people. I know. And I like, know. cause he used to be like, he would make a hundred track mixtapes and do three of them in a week for no reason. Like he was just making music all the time and none of it was good. But it was it wasn't good as in like technical ability right. good. But it was so creative in a way that was like, this is yes. brilliant. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. It was ridiculous. And he can rap for real. He can. He just That's the thing. Not like, to. I've He's, never listened to Lil B. You like I'll send you something. Okay, okay. It's it's very absurd and did not age well. I, so oh. much of it did not age well. I'm sure that's true. But it's also just like <laughs> I Obama still know did. the word. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he had something about it. I love it. <laughs> but his discography is like thousands of songs. And a lot of them are the same. Yes. And of the same subject matter, usually having to do with <laughs> some type of fellatio and or like whatever. Yeah. You can <laughs> say but, it. Yeah, nah, fellatio is a fun word. Second dick is like, ah. is like uh, that's what Shakespeare would have said. Yeah, mm. <laughs> clearly. Enjoying I got a, a nice fellatio. Wherefore art thou, fellatio? <laughs> fellatio Johnson. Felicio That's like some like a gym teacher or something. Uh, what's up? My name's Felicio Johnson. <laughs> 
Go to the bench. <laughs> Go to the bench. Did you guys have that thing in school where like if if there was like a bad kid in gym class, like you, you'd get benched? Yeah. It's like you go to the bench. No, they remember. they were they were put on the risers. Yeah. They were put on the risers. What's yeah. the risers? It, it was like it was like, like a, yeah. it's like a higher bench. Yeah, they just used to go out the top there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. just, it's if it's if a bench was also stairs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I saw Miss Cooper can on the street it. the other day. It's mad random. I was like, I was about to. Does she look her. exactly the same? Exactly the same. <laughs> like, in the sense that she hasn't aged, but she was like old when we were. Yeah, young, she was so like, like, yeah, she yeah. was old. Yeah. But. I love when that happens yeah. with teachers when you see them and you're like, you haven't changed at all. She was mad cool though. Like she was at she was in right, school. Yeah. She was the teacher who everyone was like, uh, like fuck Miss Cooper. But like, she was like cool. Like, yeah. No, th- she she had I I th- I had a bone to pick with her yeah. because she once asked like we were all sitting on the ground. And she was like, can someone dis- uh, define aerobic exercise? What is what? Is, and none of us could. And then she said, I tell you this every day. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what aerobics means every day. And we were like, no, you fucking I've don't. I've never heard that word in my life, lady. <laughs> this is the first you've ever brought it up. That's insane. It was That's it was funny. so insane. I kind of respected it. Yeah, she was cool though. She like looked like she, she was retired. She looked like she was doing well. She was just like, oh my god. Hi. Wait, I'm not over saying it. To I you. tell you this every fucking. I'm yes. gonna start gaslighting you about things like that. I'm gonna be like, Lucas, the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. Do you know what that is? You don't. Well, I talk about it every single <laughs> fucking day. I've never gone a day without bringing it up. Honestly, non-toxic gaslighting is so fun. I agree. Like, oh, yeah, because it is like good. what? It's 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 hilarious. Yeah. Like if there's no like animosity, or it's like my I, I gaslight the shit out of my sister all the time because it's hilarious. But a little is thing, she older or younger? I have two, so okay. both. But um, usually I do it to my younger sister because it fucks with her more. Yeah. But she does it to me too. Like I believe it. She'll like I'll be well. I don't live at home anymore. But when I lived at home, I would just be in my room. And she would just come in there, and this isn't exactly gaslighting, but she would do it and pretend she's not doing anything weird. She'd come just stare at me, just open the door and just look at me. And I'm like, hi, like, what's up? And like, get closer and just do something and then leave. And I'm like, what was that about? She's like, what are you talking about? (laughs) You just were weird in front of me for no reason. And now I have to deal with that. It's craziness. That was weird sibling ship. My sister used to, I used to make her, uh, I would lay on my stomach and I used to make her like jump on me as hard as she could. (laughs) Wow. Wait, that's actually, that sounds like a good way to get your back, like, a little cracked, you yeah. know? Just a little bit. Yo, we oh. were fucking my little sister up. It was hilarious. <laughs> like, <laughs> we were, me and my older sister, we weren't mean as in we bullied her, but she was durable, like, as a kid. So we would, like, <laughs> fuck with her. That's a hilarious yeah. adjective for a so person. We, yeah, she's durable. So we used to do yeah, this she could, thing. She could, yeah, she, <laughs> she could take a lot. She could take a lot. <laughs> we used to do, it. you know, airplane, like, when you put, like, the baby on, like, yeah. your legs and you do that? So we oh. took it a step further where we watched a lot. Of, I watched a lot of anime growing up, a mm-hmm. lot of Dragon Ball Z, a lot of Naruto and like yeah, shit, yeah. One Piece and all that shit. And I, we would get her to run to us and we'd kick her up and flip her. So she'd land on the wall upside down and like slither down like in TV show. It was on a bed. We were fine. It's w- yeah, we were safe about it. But like okay, okay. that type of shit or like we had this thing where we would like tie her up <laughs> and see... <laughs> See how long it would take for her to get loose. Like we were children, so we weren't really good at time. Lucas is shook because he doesn't have siblings. Oh like, yeah, yeah, understand. you're an only yeah. child. He now doesn't we understand. Just he's like, that's her. emotional torture. I'm like, that is how. Because yeah, that's siblings. how they learn. Because all right, there's a there's a hierarchy, right? Yeah. My older sister was the first. I'm a year later, right? Yeah. We had to do all the like parents learning how to be parents, right? Shit, and then the little sibling gets all the stuff and like is they already know how to be parents by then. So we have to make up for that by fucking. With yeah, them. yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. So we would like get like jump ropes and like. Like tie her legs up and then do like this type of shit and then leave the room. And then in like 20 minutes, she would be like, Hey guys, what are we doing next? And like she liked it. She was fucking weird. She, she was having a great time because she was yes, hanging out course. with us. Yeah. yeah. But it was so funny. We would just fuck oh, with her. God. Like, yeah. Oh my nah, god. She's great now. She's like, she's not damaged emotionally. She's fine. <laughs> she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. I love it. I used to I used to fuck with my sister like more subtle ways. There's only one physical thing I did, which is one time I sc- I got really obsessed with the phrase, move it or lose it, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> and apparently one day I screamed it in her ear so loud that she cried. <laughs> I barely remember that. <laughs> I miss those. Move it or lose it, sweetie. <laughs> sweetie is what makes it like, yeah. I miss those like early 2000s Disney Channel ass like sentences. Like, yes. Oh, like, yeah. Newsflash, uh-huh. buddy. Or like. Yes. That oh, went so hard. Yeah. 
God. You in what army? Like, yeah, that's hard. Like, why don't we do that anymore? You in what why army? Why I oughta? Yeah. That's, oh, this shit is I'm crazy. trying to think of others from that time. Um, so many good whatever ones. Whatever major loser, like whatever that shit was a thing. Whatever major loser is good. Yeah. Um, this conversation is between the taco and the burrito nacho. That I've was never from, heard that. That was from The Click 2008 iconic the click, like, movie. No, oh, not, the not, click. <laughs> not The Click. Not like <laughs> it was from that movie. I don't know what I was That was a good that movie. That movie was sad. Yeah. I love that movie. It was great, but it was there were sad moments. It is a there. good It's a surprisingly good movie. Yeah, I feel yeah. like he has a lot of those. Like, where he's like, oh, it's Adam Sandler. But it's like, no, this is a good thing. Like, I watched yeah. Uncut Gems for the first time. Like, I still haven't so seen Oh, God. I don't spoil it for so, me. Don't I'm not gonna spoil it. spoil it, but like I was so I'm always so high when I watch movies. But I was like dab high that night. Um, dab high is I like dabs. It's quick. It's easy. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'll be smoking weed, but mm-hmm. um, that movie is so stressful to the point where like several times it's like a three hour almost movie, and then not three. It's like two and a half. I had to pause it just from being uncomfortable thinking about how are you gonna get out of this situation. Like <laughs> that. That's what gets me in movies. I'll take gore. I'll take being scared. But when people like. There's so many TV shows I watch, and I'm like, I'm stressed out for you, and I have to stop this. Oh, that's so many things for yeah. me. <laughs> so many things where I li- I literally have to pause and then come back later. I just you I guys can watch so the rough. curse. Yeah. The curse. The curse is the new Nathan Fielder show. Oh, I've heard mm. about that. I love him. It he is. I up. love him too. But the show is so like cringe on purpose that like I have a really high threshold for that. I love that stuff. Yeah. But there's like people I've recommended to in my life. They're like, I actually can't get through more than an episode of it's this. It's like the inter- not the interview. The the show that he did that wasn't Nathan for you. Oh, the mm. rehearsal. The rehearsal. Yeah, that show's amazing. That got so deep. <laughs> I know. Like <laughs> I was like, this is hilarious. And I'm like, these are people's lives mm. I and i love that i love that for him wait can i tell you something that i had to pause recently because it was making me go i just i couldn't do it it was uh you're so not invited to my bar to my bat mitzvah what's Funny that? You say that no because I it was love that movie it, it, it's a great movie. what is who's this? it's it's an adam sandler movie and it's with his daughters in it and they play his daughters oh, and shit. it's about like one of them as a uh, yeah we should we should be uh getting towards the end segment oh, soon. Yeah, yeah. but no but um no but she has like a falling out with a friend and during her bat mitzvah she's like tasked with making a video and then she uses that responsibility to sabotage her by making her look really bad and that i had to pause multiple times because it would just it hurt me to watch it's that i couldn't do it's the it's the best movie about being a teenage girl i've ever seen it's like the the how like intense everything feels and how like everything feels like it's the biggest thing to ever happen to anyone and it's happening to you yeah that movie is so good in that way i gotta drug it up you're so not invited my bar mitzvah so not, you are so it's a good bar. movie yeah it's yeah. a really good movie yeah. them sh- hey, yo, bar-, bar mitzvahs and bar mitzvahs just be <laughs> lit back in the oh my god i was planning one for a bit and then i lost interest <laughs> what was the craziest like, one you guys ever went to um, Ooh, craziest crazy. oh craziest probably one for a cousin of mine when i was eight years old and that was just amazing i got taught how to shoot pool oh, there was yeah. a chocolate fondue there it was just it had everything you needed i don't even remember it was just vibes like i was just there like yeah candy and dancing people there was like, i remember there was one in like near middle school where like mm. that was like when people started like dating each other and somebody yeah, was like yeah. behind the curtain like kissing or Ooh. some shit and I'm like oh fuck it wasn't me because like girls didn't like me until I was like twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up, yeah. That can't be true. No, I, they didn't tell me. Well, they, maybe they didn't tell you. Yeah, until like college, but like I was dating somebody all the time. I feel like in high school you were like well liked. Liked, like oh yeah. he's cool, but nobody wanted to right, like bug right. me. <laughs> <laughs> nobody was trying. To, I mean, we were in high school, but still. Like, Wait, well, how old were you the first time you dated someone? Dated somebody for real? I was like. Yeah. I had my first girlfriend when I was like 18 probably or 17. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that's a lie. In middle school, I dated somebody for like three months. And I saw Wait, her on the who? train the other day. Her name was Camila. She was really sweet. No, she wasn't sweet at the time. She's cool now. Camila? But Camila, you would have seen her, if anything. She's a vocal what? major. Really? Um. Wait. Camila Cabello. Or? No. No. Nah, well, that's her. Um, okay. But she was really nice to me, but she was like really mean to other people. And I was like, I don't know what to do in this situation. It would be funny if you were like, I like this. <laughs> I, like, I this. like that. But like we were fucking children, so it's not any beef or anything like that. We were, we're fucking children. No, no, no. We were, <laughs> we were children as I in know. we. 
God. No! Chris Hansen, like, comes in. <laughs> yeah. We got you. have no you. idea how, like, shit just flashed through my mind. I was like, <laughs> no, no. Nah, but, like, I look back. Oh, my God. That was just, like, yeah. yeah. But that was the only, like. What was the vibe? Like, holding hands? <laughs> we used to be up at, you remember the escalators? Yeah. Yeah, I'm leaving it there because this is this is. Okay. Okay. But it, that, was, that was the vibe. Right? That was the vibe. So that's okay. why they didn't work half the yeah. time. Like there was an uh, in like at Laguardia there was an up like there were like a hidden escal not hidden escalator escalators and like in the back is where like people go hang out. Okay. Uh, after school and shit, I was hanging out after school quite a bit in those okay. three months that we right. were. Right. Right. You know, you know where people used to hook up. It was. Um, Clay, the teacher, that fucking weirdo who, who fucking yeah got fired yeah, for sending for being a creep. To yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, fuck you, Clay. He, fuck you, Clay. I'll <laughs> tell you a story about Clay off camera, but I basically we had this creepy teacher who was fired for like sending dick pics to students, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was complicated because yeah. at the It'd be time, funny if they weren't his own. <laughs> Somebody else's <laughs> like, dick. All right, Clay. Whenever friends of mine black? are like, this guy sent me an yeah. unsolicited thing. I'm like, yo, send a picture of my dick. That'd be hilarious. Because like, <laughs> what would you do if you sent a girl a picture of your dick? And you got a dick just back. the dick like back from her, and it's like different yes. skin tone. Great, like, <laughs> yeah. so good. That would be really funny. Yeah. And you, and then she could be like, "Wait, I thought we were sharing." Yeah, what's up? I thought we were, yeah, I thought we were just sharing our favorite dicks. Yeah. We're like, this one's better. <laughs> but like, for a while, there were like five of us who hung out with Clay. It was like really weird. Yeah, but, like he like he loved all the like nerd kids like the five of us and then mm. we would all hang out in we would call it the coop and it was like yeah. a, a little av area above it was like monisha and i yeah really no would, i remember like, hang out there i was too. never like there but i would like pass sometimes yeah like, hey. that is a lot of where people would hook up oh in the yeah. Coop. yeah it was i only figured out out like senior year yeah but i didn't have anybody to fucking hook up with but <laughs> Um. Yeah. That. That's when I was like, "Oh, people go here, like up in the, like the rafters by the yeah." Yeah. Yeah. I actually never hooked up there. I can't remember. No, that's not true. No, wait. No, I didn't hook up there. I just uh sat suggestively on my friend Kirk's lap. Kirk. <laughs> would you believe I didn't hook up there? Damn. I, would I know. Believe it. Yeah. Crazy. Dude. I did not hook up in high school. Nah. In fact, I didn't. I I had like relationships, but I didn't have my first like hookup hookup until my senior year of college. Damn. Yeah, that was the first time I just hooked up with someone. Uh. Like a one night stand kind of thing. Yeah, like you like you both arrive at a party, you're not planning on it, but then I you mean, end you up going there. home. Oh. Yeah, that didn't start for me until like I. Not nah, because I'm, I'm not built for the streets. I'm very like lovey dovey and like. Mm. Oh. I have but yeah. I had a phase. I had like a whole phase for sure, mm. but. That didn't happen for me You're consistently yeah. <laughs> until like 22, which I was just out here for no reason. But like I dated somebody I like like the first person that like had sex with. And then like we were like seeing each other for a month. But she was also seeing like everybody else at the time. <laughs> and I didn't know. We're cool now. We're cool now. Uh, but love then I was love. dating somebody all of uh, college. So I was just with that person. But then right. when we broke up, I was like, oh, shit, like. This is the first time people were like, oh, you're like cute. And I was like, oh, shit, am I? What the fuck? And then I was out here just slang a dick. For like, <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. That's beautiful. That is terrible. That's beautiful. And I look back and I'm like, I didn't need to be doing all that. But I learned a lot about myself. No, you did. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, did. But learned all the ways. What we swing. need to do, yeah. we need you to weigh in on some of our listener submissions. We have. Oh, fuck yeah. We yeah. have people write in very often in like high school or like people wanting advice <laughs> or just wanting oh, to share a little bit of gossip going let's on do it life. i love this shit um, um but yeah pull, i'm gonna try to find my tone as well so I can do it. okay uh, i'll bring on my guitar i'll sing songs to <laughs> hello lucas and gabby this is kind of short but i just wanted your opinion i'm incredibly afraid of the dark i am uh, 14 years old and have found myself in the mind-boggling position of assuming there is a mass murderer everywhere i can't see do you have an idea of how I can overcome this fear? Damn. That's terrifying. Yeah, my I instinct is to say something mean, but I'll hold it back. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being a little bitch. <laughs> no, yeah. that's terrible. You're 14. Uh, the dark can be scary. I'm yeah. comforted by the dark because I get Ooh. overstimulated very easily. So yeah. dark rooms are fun. But uh, nightlight, that's usually, the, that's good. what the like, doctors would say, right? Yeah. <laughs> nightlight. Um, or light, yeah. music. I feel like sometimes when I'm, people... Anytime I'm afraid in the dark is because I feel like I'm like, it was rare, but like, yeah, if I have sound or music or something to like be there, it's kind of nice because I didn't feel like, I think people are afraid of being alone in the dark, but if there's stuff going on, like it's not that lonely, right? Yeah. Or like candles are fun too. Cause it's like fire. 
Like yeah. fire is cool. Or oh, like yeah. watching a show. Like a lot of people yeah. do that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching something really silly, like wonder, right before you go to bed. Is there something that happened? Well, we don't know this person. I, yeah, I'm wondering is if like. something that happened in the dark? That's like. I'm wor- or maybe it's just like one documentary about like one mass murderer who appeared and then this. Yeah. Per- kid don't is watch like, those. Yeah. Um, that's a good way to not be afraid of. No, yeah. I, I can't do that. I'm too yeah. sensitive. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm but the more you tell people not to watch true crime, the more they will watch true crime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, except with me, and I'll be like, "Cool, I won't watch true crime." Yeah, I I'm, I'm a different breed. People. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, but I'm not even, like that. Shit's like horror movies don't scare me. They scare me, but I'm like, that was cool. But like this guy who lived down the street from this location, like, how are you not scared by that? But a ghost <laughs> is scary to you. The fuck? I agree. Crazy. That's to me. a real person. Yeah. 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 Like, that's Steve. Like, <laughs> like, that's like <laughs> he's right there. He's, yeah. he's loose. Like he had a government name. Exactly. Like, Ted yeah, Bundy just weird. lived in an apartment. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like all of us. Any of us could be Ted Bundy right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you get a nightlight. And if you know. look under your seats. <laughs> if you look like, under your seats, hey. Ted Bundy's right there. Yeah. yeah. Get a I, nightlight. You'll I just right. sent you one that's fun to read. And oh, wait. I, I can't find my phone. Can okay, I read that's it fine. Can I uh, yes, read it off Yes, and then yours? I want to read a really fun one that's Okay, okay, okay. 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 I have a theory that when an adult tells a kid they'd make a good lawyer, they're calling the kid an asshole. Many adults have said this about me. <laughs> Embrace it. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's if yeah. that's correct. I feel, yeah, because yeah. I feel like lawyers, you have to kind of be a little bit of an asshole. But I would I could see myself like if, if I was like talking with a kid and knew that they were like they were able to put like an argument into A, B and C. They were able to lay it out really clearly. I, I could see myself going, hey. This is a really lucrative job. You probably could be good at this. That I on, actually, yeah. I changed my mind. It's possible that they're giving you a genuine compliment about your ability to express yourself. Yeah. I don't think so. I would make a shit lawyer. <laughs> I'd be so bad at being a lawyer. I think I'd be good. I, I believe that. Good. I think I, I would that. be good. I wouldn't. I would be good at like gathering evidence and like a solid argument. But I'd be like, "What the fuck are you yelling at me? Like, <laughs> you think uh, my emotions would get in the way of the actual yeah. thing? And also, like, I don't really play by rules well." Yeah. Uh, in the sense of like this is the law like there's what is real and makes sense and what doesn't so like i would be in the courtroom like very informal just like that whole your honor shit pisses me off because fuck you like <laughs> okay you got a little hat on you can be like you just call him jeff yeah jeff, yeah. 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 jeff. Overruled. no Overruled. Yeah. fuck you jeff, yeah. fuck you, jeff. Mom, uh, sorry, your honor what uh <laughs> that <Yeah>. he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Papa? Yeah. That's a different. I love rules. Mm. I love, love rules. I you love rules. I, I love, love the order. I don't like rules that don't make sense. Yes, yes I don't like rules yes. that don't make sense. Yeah, but I, I like knowing the boundaries of something. That's real. I, yeah, because yeah. I so I thrive off of direction, uh-huh. and I hate creating an environment. I hate having to create my own structure. I, I like that. it when a structure is there, and then I can just then I can move within it. Mm. I find very paralyzed by the idea of having to create structure. I get that. Yeah. I uh, I did mock trial very briefly but i was too theatrical to be a lawyer Overruled. yeah i was i would start like wait also this blinking is this normal? oh shit Hold yeah blinking technical difficulties <laughs> testicle difficulties testicle difficulties there was a, i used to work at come on everybody and there were a lot of drag shows and like one time uh like there was a wardrobe malfunction and one of the queens was like we're having testicle difficulties <laughs> testicle difficulties and it just stayed with me this whole time. I was so theatrical when I was a mock trial lawyer that I would like scream during my opening statement because I was trying to do this sort of like, you can't handle the truth. But I was trying to do it like immediately about the most low stake shit. Like, and girl, this was is like, middle school. Calm down. Is- <laughs> <laughs> and then there was another time because I was like a chatty kid where I was talking to some like... Um, there was I was at this experience like out of the city. I don't remember what it was exactly, but there were like um, performers pretending to be from like the 1800s. You were at and fucking medieval times. I was kind of like medieval <laughs> times vibes, and I was like talking to one of them, and uh, the guy was like, "Oh yeah, you know, you should be a uh, you should be a filibuster." <laughs> Which Can is I be a- honest with you guys? I've never understood what that word's meant. I've just heard it, and I don't know what the fuck that is. The filibuster? I know that it's a thing that has to do with courts. I, I know what it is. What is it? A fil- it's not a court thing. It's a government, government. thing. Government. It's filibuster is when you basically just stall. That's all that it is? That is all it is. Yes. It is stalling. That's like bro reading um fucking Dr. Seuss in that one thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it, it's basically, it's like there's a law or something that... You can't stop a sen- or congressperson from speaking if they're already speaking. 
And so to delay a ruling on something or to delay, they'll just talk for literally like eight hours. It's one of the funniest things. Yeah. It basically only stops when they have to like go to the bathroom or like drink water or something. So like they'll just keep talking and yeah, busting. They'll start reading. <laughs> someone just, Let's keep someone just comes and it's over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to filibuster. <laughs> oh no, that's great. <laughs> oh my god! Shout out the government. Being called a filibuster or or saying you should be that that's calling a child an asshole. But being a lawyer, there's more gray yeah. area there. Yeah. yeah, it depends on the tone of voice. Yeah. If if it's like. Oh, you could be a good lawyer. Then that's obviously like you're an asshole. But it's like, hey, I think you could be a good lawyer. That's like that. That that you you hear it. Yeah. You hear the difference. Yeah. 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 What about you could be a good lawyer. (laughs) You could be. (laughs) Hello, police. Yeah. (laughs) She's right here. She's right here. She's right here. Hi, police. I'm dad. (laughs) Okay, so this is a fun segment we have. Uh, Someone wrote in using chat GPT. Yes. Okay. For context, Lucas and I obviously very good friends, but someone wrote in saying, I had chat GPT make your relationship more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so Lucas, I can't wait. Do you want to read this? Yes, with me? I do. Okay. The title of the episode is Meerkat Mayhem. Okay. Introduction. <laughs> hey, listeners, <laughs> Luke is here. The one with the impeccable sense of humor. And Gabby, the one with oh, the it's a script. Yeah, it's a script. And Gabby, the one with the incredible ability to put up with Lucas. <laughs> We're bringing you another episode of Two Nosy Meerkats, where, as always, our friendship is as complicated as a meerkat's burrow map. So, Lucas, <laughs> tell our listeners about that hilarious prank you pulled on me last week. Oh, you mean the classic whoopee cushion under the burrow entrance? Classic comedy gold. Yeah, hilarious, until I had to explain to the alpha meerkat why I disrupted the piece. Thanks for that, Lucas. I love that the script implies that we are actually animals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> I, I can, also, this, the, the return to the burrow that's constantly in this yeah. conversation is hilarious. I know, I know exactly where AI went with this. It's adorable. You know when you can see their work? Yeah. It's yeah, Okay, so segment two, snack attack. I brought some snacks for today, Gabby. Thoughtful, right? thoughtful lucas these are all spicy snacks you know i can't handle spice okay fuck you that's not true (laughs) that's not true i love spicy food just trying to add a little heat to our friendship gabby keep things interesting (laughs) segment three friendship therapy i've enrolled us in (laughs) this is like not even comedy this is just i've enrolled us in meerkat friendship therapy we need it (laughs) meerkat friendship (laughs) what the fuck (laughs) Therapy? Come on, Gabby. We're just two meerkats living the comedy dream. Living the dream? More like living a sitcom where you're my quirky sidekick. What? I would never be like this. This is incredible. Segment four, secrets and surprises. I've got a surprise for you, Gabby. Close your eyes. Oh. Uh, should I be worried? Ta-da! It's a friendship bracelet. Symbolic, right? Symbolic of our complicated friendship, I suppose. Ooh. Closing. Uh, thanks for sticking around. <laughs> thanks for sticking around, Meerkat friends. Remember, life's a comedy, and our friendship is the punchline. Whether you love us or question our sanity, keep tu- tuning into Two Nosy Meerkats. Until next time. So this is a situation. Wait, wait, there's, wait, wait. There's, oh no, 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 this is the where Lucas oh, probably has another hilarious plan. Oh, That's yeah. your line. <laughs> My line. Until next time, where Lucas probably has another hilarious plan. Chat GVT. Chat, do you it's use scary. it? I've only used it to like talk to. <laughs> that sounds like I'm lonely. I'm not. Um, I've only like chatted to it. Like I've never like used it for like work or anything. I once uh, asked it for life advice just to see what would happen. It's like kind of good. Sometimes. It was actually not bad. It was yeah. like, hey, you should like talk this through with with this person, maybe, yeah, and but also like be respectful to yourself. It was like mm. it was good advice. Yeah. I wanted. So I think you have to pay for it. This is why I haven't done it yet. But like, I paid those, for like, it. All right, I'm gonna hit you up. Because uh, because those good. images, like the the image rendering shit, is hilarious. Like all the SpongeBob shits and all the like. Oh, those are really funny. Um, like like the fucking what's his name, Steve Harvey running away from people and like. <laughs> yeah, I know. Or like the, the like who why? But it's I'm so, so happy. Good. Or like the guy fighting the alligator. Like there's one there are certain ones that keep popping up and like I'm yeah. interested in that area of AI, but also AI terrifies me. Um, yeah. especially like because I make music right, so yeah. like the fact that. 
there are these things that can kind of like just do stuff. I feel like it, you can tell, like it takes away from, I think humans can naturally tell when something's genuine and when it's not, but it's getting very close now where it's yes. like, if you don't pay attention, it can be easy to overlook that type of stuff. And I think there's useful shit in AI, like for sure. But like, I'm a little worried when it comes to like artists just like not getting credit for the stuff they do or like artists releasing things but it wasn't them and it's like some ai thing like that's kind of scary but that's why i do everything myself so yeah. i don't have to worry about that <coughs> but we'll see hopefully i would be nice though to get big enough that like someone would want to like steal my shit it would be cool yeah because i'm like yeah. hell yeah you can't but yeah shout out music though shout there's music. uh there's these patrick star uh ai covers yes. Oh Patrick my god! And Plankton I love are these always songs. singing the best. <laughs> Plankton is good. <gasps> yeah, he's got that like. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's he's it's got Patrick that rap. That, like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's, great. <laughs> it's very good. Cartman okay. is also great. Yes, Cartman is beautiful. I feel like so Cartman's one of those like impressions almost everyone can do. Yeah, like there's certain ones that are just like easy, and it's always like Cartman. I, I, but he's also like a voice modulated voice. Yeah, because yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey yeah, guys, it's, it's me, Carmen. Yeah, that's a weird thing. I can almost do it. I'm so bad at impressions. <laughs> I just don't throw my whole pussy into it. You got to. You, you, yeah, you got to go full puss. <laughs> got to go full puss. <laughs> you got to go. I can kind of do Patrick. I'm SpongeBob. <laughs> hey guys. Hey there guys. we go. Patrick has like a thing. I'm pretty decent at some impressions. Like yeah, I got you're a pretty good at Patrick. That yeah, yeah no, that's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's who do I do well? I do Kermit pretty well. Oh yeah, like, hit, hit it, hit it. <clears throat> Kermit the Frog, like he had sort of like a thing here, yes. but then like if you uh, do it lower, hello. yeah, yeah, lower is like Ernie, like Ernie's like Kermit, but it's a little bit further. Yeah, here. I do Michael McDonald pretty decent. Ernie, here. wait, no, that was just Squidward. That was, <laughs> no, that was I, what that was Bert? That was, that was what is Bert's Bert? voice? I don't actually nah, know. You just did gay voice. <laughs> nah, yeah, <laughs> nah, you sounded like I did the gay black accent. Yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah, exactly. What's that? <laughs> nah, um. Bert, yeah, Bert kind of sounds squeaky like that. Yeah. Um, Can you do Squidward? <laughs> he just grumbles. SpongeBob. Yeah. yeah. No, there we it. go. That's yeah. It. Who who can I do like well? I'm tr oh. trying to think. I could do Jay Z sometimes, depending on where my voice is at. <gasps> oh my god. Wait. <clears throat> I hope it's one of those days. Yeah. Uh, He's it's like, Hovey Hove in a building. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He always sounds like something's like sad when he's talking, but it's like this. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. that's it. He's yes. Like, yeah. What you want me to do? I'm sorry. I'm back. <laughs> and oh, the laugh that's is good. Over. Well, like Michael McDonald is good too. Like you know Mike McDonald. No, I don't. Wait, who's that? He came from the hottest, hottest, hot. <laughs> Bro, no, you I'm, know, you've heard of Michael. I, I keep forgetting. Yeah. You're not in love anymore. I've never I'm heard of this guy. I'm going to some shit because he makes good ass music. Who is um, Michael McDonald? He's just this guy. So he's this dude who looks like Santa Claus, which sings like, just I'll like, him. he's just, he's great. He sings, he's got so much soul in his voice, but okay. he sounds like he's always about to sneeze or something. <laughs> and everything is, he's hella, hella, hella. But this he's guy. Sa yeah, he looks like one Santa Claus. He I've never little, seen him like, in my life. He looks like a like Santa Claus, but like also Tim Allen. Yeah, from Home he looks you like know, a combination of Ted Danson and George Lucas. Yes, yes. Or like you know what a fool believes that song. He came from somewhere back in a long ago. What a fool believes. No, I've Bangers. never seen this man Damn, in my I life. I gotta put you on. He wow. makes good music. Oh my god, his eyes are incredible. Yeah, and yeah, he's, he's really like soft spoken. Up. Like his yeah. his speaking voice is like. But what is <laughs> um, I love people like that. Wow, yeah. right. I've got a. You guys, do you guys have any friends who are like really soft spoken naturally? Yeah, I hate it because like I'm tall. Yeah. <laughs> so like listening yeah, to people, I hate. My sister fucking does it. She's not soft spoken. She's just annoying. Um, she'll like say something at a certain volume. And keep it there and mumble it. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying if you say it the same way twice. But I, often when I'm out and stuff, people are talking like, yes. And I'm like, I literally cannot hear you. My ears are where the speakers are. Speak up. Like, grow up. Like, yeah. so like my ears are where the speakers yeah. are. Can I tell you, I I, uh, I had a friend from college. Uh, her name was Mari. Shout and out Mari. Shout out Mari. <laughs> and she, that she is a very soft-spoken person. And one time she was like, always just kind of like this she was just always talk like right around here and she was also very short very very short and like if we would be walking and talking somewhere she would there was one time she got very frustrated she was like i'm tired of people like speaking over me all the time and i literally said mark 
we want to listen to you, <laughs> but you need to do us the respect yeah. of speaking at a volume we can we hear. Can hear. <laughs> yeah, like what is this whisper going to do? And who is this reaching? <laughs> we are we want to listen to you. We can't hear you though. This shit is I find it fun though. My friend Billy, who uh, you know from Billy Oxopolis, Billy? Billy Zhao. Billy's, uh, yes, 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 the one we were talking about earlier. The one we were talking about earlier. He, a lot of Billy's. The fuck? What I love about him is he has a very soft spoken speaking voice, but he's very outgoing. Mm. Oh, yeah, so this... when you, when you like hear him talk, he's like, hi, how are you? Oh my God, it's so good to see you. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then sometimes I'll go to karaoke with him. And when he sings, it just sounds like a normal person is talking. <laughs> His singing volume like is his raised. His singing so. volume is like, oh my god! It's like, and he he'll be like, yeah, I was so crazy singing like that. I was like, Billy, you just sounded like me in conversation. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I wish I was quieter sometimes, but me I also too, don't because like know. it's fun being loud. Like. That's it. I wish I was louder because there are a lot of times that people like uh, don't hear me or mm. like or just talk over me. I'm like, I feel like I'm speaking at a loud volume. Well, this is an interesting segue into our last segment. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So we have one final segment of the show. Let's do it. You've been an amazing guest. Yes, Here you we have. Got we want to know how you feel like you are perceived by other people in the world, whether yeah. it's like friends, family, like strangers, and then we'll say how we actually perceive you. It's changed a little bit, but it's it's been consistent throughout my life. Like I've always stood out in a way that like. People don't know where to place me often, mm -hmm. but when they see me doing what I do, they're like, oh, that makes sense. Uh, Interesting. People perceive me as like, he's so fun and happy all the time, which is true. But like, I'm, I don't get angry often, but I'm annoyed often. Like mm. I, th mm. little things bug me a lot, but not enough to be like, oh, I'm so upset. Like I'm very easily frustrated, but it's funny when I'm frustrated. It's not right. like I'm mm. actually mad. Um, I don't know. People probably think I'm, I don't know. I feel like I lead pretty much like who I am, like for that, the core, but like, I don't know. There is this like, oh, he never gets upset. I'm like, that is not true. I'm upset often, <laughs> but, um, there's this element of like happiness that people always associate with me. Cause I don't know. I, I try to be like, not a dick head. Like, oh, it's snowing. Oh yeah. It's snowing. Snowing, snowing. Out there, yeah. I try to be like, not an asshole. So yeah. Yeah. But I don't Oh, yeah, I think people kind of just like that's that happy goofy guy who like we don't really know what's up with him But like he makes cool shit like the music that he makes is good And like every time I see him and stuff, it's like oh fun, which is nice because at least I'm consistent in that way But yeah, yeah I don't know. I'm pretty I, I'm very much myself at all times. I feel like which is nice But and I've been the same person since I was like five. I'm just taller now and like not as stupid So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How do you guys perceive me? I think uh, Definitely like uh, I think the word happy is too general, but when I see you, I see someone so confident and uh -huh. like just total like ray of sunshine. And like, I think the reason people see you as the happy goofy guy is because it's very easy to feel relaxed around you. Oh, thank you. You make people comfortable. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I leave, I run away, never to be seen again. And now I murder. <laughs> yeah. You guys, yeah. wow, killing a woman live on a podcast. <laughs> I know. First time for everything. Time. But, but like, I feel like, um, and also, yeah, like the creativity is clear. The hard work is very clear. And I don't know. I just feel like um, you you always seemed like someone very like approachable and fun to talk to and very warm. Like, oh, I don't know. Dude. Like, I've been having like a bad week and seeing you just like brighten up my mood. Oh, Gabby. That's very it's sweet. True. Yeah. It's true. I don't know. I try to like be... Yeah, it's, it's a lot of shitty things out here in the world. I'm like, yeah. if I could be like a little fun yes. for like this moment, then it's easy for me to be. So I will, I will say you're absolutely right in that you, I kind of see you as always being you. You, I feel mm. like you hit your center pretty quickly yeah. and that you and then you stuck with it. I, I will always remember when I was like starting to prepare for like high school auditions. Uh -huh. And I remember like going into Mr. McEnany's office and then I saw you like going through your one of your monologues and you like you brought on tears. <laughs> I was I remember that so vividly, and I was just like, "Jesus fucking yeah, Christ!" Yeah, I was feeling it's, it. It's a wild thing to witness someone just achieve that. I haven't and, heard the name McEnany, by the way, yeah. in years. He's very famous at LaGuardia because there's a technique he has that like everyone just gets yelling. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. saw him relatively recently. Actually, it was really. Cool. Yeah. He doesn't work at Fifty One anymore, but that's a well. We'll talk. We'll okay, talk. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what was the on. technique? I don't know. He just he like just knew how to like get kids in the court. Yeah, he was. did. He like there was a way that like like a kind of movement and style that he would 
have kids do yeah. where it was just like where it was weird because if the kid had natural talent it worked really well if the kid wasn't that talented it was you could see the gears turning yes and that's like you could tell oh that's who coached you yes but if it was the kids who did something different with that coaching that like mm. stood right. out um i agree yeah because Interesting. even because i used to run auditions at laguardia for a yeah, little bit yeah. too me and sam used to be up there you remember sam bartholomeo's of course yeah. that's who shot my music video with me that's like one of my best friends i love sam it. is awesome he's incredible i really like it. i know um, he's tight with irene who i'm yeah, here with yeah we write we we make a whole bunch of shit together but we used to run auditions and stuff with each yeah. other uh and like i can tell because i was one of those kids who like went through that process and i was somebody who like branched out from it obviously because like i went on to continue doing this but like um, you can tell because he was really good at getting things out of people if they had something in them, but otherwise it was just kind of like, eh. yeah. but still you could, st if you were like just taken by the like technique and the style, a, a kid who wasn't talented could still get in with that coach. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what, yeah, that's like, yeah. He had a lot of kids from 51 in LaGuardia because of that. Yeah. It's but, a feeder. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, you've, you've always been you've always truly just been like that ray of sunshine kind of oh, what gabby said it's, it's absolutely true you yeah. just always have been it's bright in here or whatever oh my god that's <laughs> right. yeah but plug plug your shit if oh, you got yeah. shows coming up you socials your album talk yes. about everything you want to play. um i i love music i love art and stuff in general but like music's really cool i spent the past three years teaching myself how to produce off of youtube and like just off of like I've listened to music my whole life, so I know what music I like sounds like. Mm -hmm. And I offhand was like, let me make an album one of these days of like music that's anti-genre and kind of all over the place, but consistently me. And uh, it took a couple of years to get it down, but I did it. I have a uh, level one is the name of my first and only at this time album, but there's more coming. Uh, and I think it's going to be a theme level one, level two and so mm. on and so forth. But it's music inspired by the things I love. Some of it is rock and roll. Some of it is rap. Some of it is kind of weird, like jazzy instrumental shit. It's all over the place genre wise, but deliberately, because I think the best music comes from blends of music Absolutely. and mm. just like taking things that shouldn't work together and making them work. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And that's the thing. They're like everybody's everybody's pulling from different places and we are the only people who can get the specific combination that our brains can come up with. And I'm just, was just brave enough to do something about it. And like, yeah, my whole thing is you can do it. Like you just have to just spend time doing it. Like, like there was no reason I should have been able to like make an album in my room, like fully mix and master and all of that and write and perform all of these things. But I did cause it was fun. And, uh, I think that's important. So yeah, it's streaming on everything. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, Title. There was another guy named Ogie who was like this, like, uh, ambient, another like, Ogie? yeah, it's not, it's not even me, but he's this like ambient. Is he good? No, it's good. It's nice. Um, ambient, like orchestral, like going to sleep music. Some dude in Thailand, and like some of my shit on Title was under his page, but they fixed it now. So okay. like. Look for the album level one. Um, yeah. I'm Ogie Monster on pretty much all social media. That's O G H I E and then the word monster. Mm -hmm. uh, TikTok, Instagram. I'm really just Instagram is my like social media of choice. Uh, but yeah, I have a show in September, but I don't know the details about it yet. But I'll double back, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Just look. Follow me on social media. I'm always doing some shit uh, and always working on things. And nice. Yeah, this next album will be the collaboration one. So I have a lot of Ooh. people that I'm starting to think about working with. I'm gonna reach out to you for something because there's okay. there's some like uh, interlude shit that I like have been thinking since the first one. But I was like, nah, I need to do this. So I okay, can get okay, this done. Okay, but okay. You, I'll, I know where to find you. Yeah, yeah, I for sure. I can't wait for that. That'll be That's awesome. Really it's gonna be fun because yeah. like you've always like looking back. Like, Lucas, you also are somebody who's been consistently yourself since, oh like, God. since I've known you, you've been like this, Luke. And obviously, we've grown and changed and yeah, shit, but, right. like, uh, that's what I've always admired about you, too. And, like, knowing that yeah. you kind of seem to know who you were from back then and continue find uh, figured out a way to have that be the thing you do, that's hard to do. And as somebody who also does that, like, kudos, because it's You're hard. You're so kind, man. So, Thank like, you. yeah. It is true. But yeah. Take it in. Thank you. Take it in. Yeah, take it. Come on. Uh, yeah. Take it I was saying in, earlier in. when I first came here, like, me and Lucas went to middle school with each other. So, like, uh, I have a vivid memory of, like, playing Lego Star Wars, like, where we're sitting, 
We went to right before we went to go see Indiana Jones, the Crystal Crin- yeah, Kingdom, Kingdom of the, of the Crystal, the Crystal Skull. Skull for whatever birthday you were turning. Yeah, um, that, that would have been wait. What what year was that? That was like 2008, I something think. Something like that. It was so me, there. you, Julian, and Isaac, I think. Yeah. And we Isaac. went down to the what is now the Nighthawk, but is well, let me not tell people where you live and shit. I, I pre- you can you can say that, that that movie theater is nearby, but I prefer nothing more specific. No, I never that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't stalk him. Don't stalk Lucas. Please don't. You can stalk me. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my instinct is always to flip shit up. But yeah. I don't <laughs> That's know. That's the New York. <laughs> yeah. Follow me on social stuff. I'm always posting something musical or doing something musical. I have scripts and stuff that me and Sam have been writing and like I'm for a while like I had to remind myself hey like you're an actor also just because music was so much right. in my control and acting like often isn't yeah. yeah so I have a feeling that when things bump up like whatever is going for me will bring out the other stuff up so like since this album's coming out like since this album came out I've already noticed like my agents are sending me things more in line with what I like actually do like the plays awesome. and stuff that they're sending me which is dope or um yeah so i don't know i'll be making shit i yeah hit me up message me <laughs> hit him up hit, me hit up. him up hit him up yeah. uh for me oh i am uh i'm not sure when this episode is going to come out but probably uh february probably february but i am uh, i'm headlining the stress factory in bridgeport connecticut Ooh. uh and that's on uh february 22nd i think might be the 21st is either it's it's on my website i have it there i'm gonna be posting posting about it more so but otherwise i got shows in new york uh come see them uh also on my website i'll be sharing them on my instagram stories as well yeah come see say i got a uh a roast battle february 1st i can't remember who my opponent is actually oh jill gonzalez and then uh show in connecticut on the third Ooh. Keep following me. I'm around. Um, oh, there's a really crazy one I'm on called The Gauntlet. That's like a heckle oh, show. Oh, yeah. It's like audience heckling is encouraged, which nice. usually, obviously, no. it's not. <laughs> That's yeah, terrifying. I'm kind of terrified, but I'm also really excited because I, I tend to be pretty chaotic on stage. So I think it will be well in line with my style. The shit you guys post with the Rose Battles kills me because, <laughs> yeah. like, it's so especially when people know people well like you guys when you guys are up against each other oh it's my God, that was yeah. good i like that that'll be fun and that it's could be such fun. A, like i think that's such a special like comedy specifically too is one of those mediums where uh there's an understanding of just like this is the game but yes. it's never not never like but it usually is not coming from a place of like animosity or anything so like it's nice to be able to be vulnerable in that way with somebody because yeah. it's wi- y'all be saying wild shit about <laughs> each other <laughs> I mean, my most recent one, I was so scared with what I pulled. (laughs) I was so scared with that one. That one was bringing up the message she sent me on Hinge that I then rejected. (laughs) Yeah, I felt so. I was. I was like, this could go so far south. I was so. I was so scared. And then she won still. But she was great. Yeah. And I was was really relying on. I was like, this will. This will be a guaranteed win. And I didn't. I was like, damn. Yeah. But yeah, roast yeah. I'm too sensitive to not to be roasted, but to roast people I in a way you. that I'm yeah. like, it's scary. Yeah, I can get there, but I don't like getting there because I'm like, once I start, it's going to be some true shit. It's going to hurt. So yeah. Yeah. when you grow up with a mom who's a gossip, you just, <laughs> you just learn to say out of pocket things. But yeah. thank you guys for listening. Yeah. Thank you guys thank for you listening. Ogie. Thank you. To thank you to producer Olivia. She's not here, but Olivia. Uh, we have been two nose meerkats. cats. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time to explore our complicated relationship. Oh, yes, in the burrow. In the burrow.